Roll Rager rod here. And as soon as I tried to shoot a video, the wind wants to fucking try to ruin everything. Isn't that something? Anyways, something really aggravated happened at WrestleFest 4. What happened was the videos got deleted. Yeah, that's what happened like right after WrestleFest. But, you know, once again, I'm Rory Gerard. I'm like one of the best wrestlers. And, yeah. You guys are probably wanting to watch this video to find out about Zack Attack and what's going on. Because WrestleFest 4 was never uploaded. Because, you know, the videos were deleted. But, um, I'm going to recap all the matches for you guys real quick. So, there was going to be this new debut wrestler to take on Zack Tack in a, like a pre-show match. Didn't count for no streak or anything, but that didn't happen, so. A, ma a match still happened, but it doesn't matter or anything. Um, but then the first match at Rose Fest was Nero uh, no Nero wasn't in the first match it was Demon versus a new debut on fuck I just realized something my macaroni is burning fucking shit Sorry about that. Anyways, it was Demon versus Eagle in a singles match, and it was like a hell of a match. And then suddenly, this like guy named apparently the unknown from the promo, I we just saw or whatever last night. If you haven't seen it, you should after this video. But the unknown, as soon as Eagle was tapping, he was like, one, two, and he, like, he was about to tap that third final time to be officially submitted for Demon to win from a figure four leg block. The unknown just came in and started wailing down on Demon. And then he just picked him up and fucking threw him out of the ring almost hit the barricade by the way and then picked him up dragged him well not dragged him picked him up and went back in our new brand new entrance that you'll see possibly next Friday or not last time this Friday I don't think but anyways that's what happened in that first match or should I say second match? Nah, it doesn't matter. These are like all the main matches, so I'd just say first match. Second match was the man versus, actually no. It was a triple threat ladder match. First one in the GWD history. We had me, Nero, first stage. And Guess what happened to my screen? It got even worse. I'm zero four. And right now I'm about to go up to the general manager and really talk to him seriously about me just getting jobbed losing match after match at Russell Fests. I am like the best wrestler in NGTWW. 
I have held, I have, rec, I have records in NGJVW. I don't think any one of them has been broken. I'll name the, they name them shortly after. It's a little recap, you know, but. But, well, I say them right now. <laughs> I might not be able to remember all of them. But, I am the first debut in the history of NGJBW to win a title. Wait a minute. I am wrong. There was a match between Nero and the thing. Okay. But for the world heavyweight title, you know, the biggest title. So. That can be a record. Um, and then, I have held the record for, um, I was the first person in NG, well, yeah, I was the first debut to win a title, you know, but anyways, I was the first wrestler to hold two titles, the hardcore and heavyweight, and... The man probably broke my record of holding both titles for the longest time. But anyways, I had the record for uh, longest hardcore title reign in NGJBW since someone since my heavyweight streak has been broken by Division Nick probably. But I could be wrong. I don't know. No, he, I, I think he broke it. But, um, anyways. Yeah. Those are just some, just to name a few. And, anyways, there was a match between Man versus Zagatak. And unfortunately, my main Zach Attack lost. It was like it was quite a match. Lots of suplexes, um, lots of moves. A good effort by both of them, but man came out of top on top. I remember at one point in the match, Zach Attack's leg. Literally almost got broken in the room. Because the man is ruthless. He's aggressive. He doesn't go easy. I'm like... Man. What the fuck? He's like, hey, I'm a bad guy. You know, I fuck people up. I'm like, okay. Alright. Just remember that time I broke your leg. Before you can say all this, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. anyways, the final match was Division Nick versus Fierce Danger. Let me just say that match was one a hell of a match, in my book. But Division Nick came out on top. He's 46 and oh, while I'm zero. And four. Can't get over that. <laughs> and this doesn't really matter. It's just a streak. But it does matter. <sighs> okay. I'm good. But anyways, there was lots of amazing moments, like fierce danger. Doing like a first, like he did Styles Clash to Division Nick. And Division Nick's like, oh, the Styles Clash is banned. No one's allowed to do that. Um, but this dude did it. He didn't know. And he did it. And he did it most in the most savage way possible. But, you know, Division Nick, he still kept on. With the match, he didn't, he didn't lose by pinfall or anything. 
And then he gets Alabama slammed, which is when, like, someone, you, what's to say? You're holding someone's legs, their feet, like this, and their body's, like, basically behind you. And then you just, boom! And that was really lit. And then there was a moment where Division Nick went for some move from the turnbuckle. And then he gets speared. And Division Nick had, like, won a hell of a Pele kick. And then Fierce Danger lost due to submission. And the last time someone lost to submission was some guy named Mario. It, it was, like, back in another state and everything. Back when NGJBW was under some other name and wasn't recorded. So. Um, anyways, that's all that happened at Russell Fest for. And there you go. Zyatak's career, it's over. Sucks. He was supposed to be my tag team partner. We were the first official tag team. Yeah, we were the very first official tag team in the history of NGJBW. <laughs> Not the record. But anyways, I'm Rui Gerard, and as always, I run, I will run you over.